Hello, kindergarten friends and families. Uh, it is time for spring week 12, but we're going to call this the Willow Tree Take Two. You see, this week was, or this last week was the week we came back from spring break and we were all virtual. Well, it turns out quite a few of our students at home did not have their Redwood project or a lot of um, or some supplies that they would need to make a redwood tree or the willow tree so not everybody was able to start the willow tree if you're one of my friends who did get started on the willow tree awesome this is your week you can finish it if you did not start the willow tree you can watch ahead or keep watching and I'm going to have the uh, video on how to do it but this is going to be kind of a catch-up week so if you did the redwood tree and you've done the willow tree you're good if you need to work on either one of those trees the redwood or the willow tree now is your time to work on one of them next week on spring week 13 we are going to start a new tree thank you and again if you need to watch more about the willow tree, keep going. Before we begin, you will need your blank paper, colored paper, the torn up paper that we made, and you'll need blue, green, and brown. This is, of course, if you're working on the willow tree. If you're working on the redwood tree, you will have your artwork already started and you'll finish that. You'll need a glue stick, a pencil, and crayon. So, your kindergarten expedition information. Your guiding question is, we've got the whole world in our hands. And the art connection. In your classes, you have been learning about trees. In art, we've been learning how to draw trees and how to draw parts of trees like branches and roots and leaves. Now, we're working on making a torn paper collage. So your learning target is, I can create a torn paper collage. In the design part, process, art is part of empathize. We help you make a connection, a personal connection to the subject. We're working on paper collages. These are torn paper, lots and lots of pieces of torn up paper that are put together, glued down to make a picture. And we have been working on our trees. So this week we're working on the willow tree. I know I flipped it when I made the actual willow tree, but You'll see that, uh, again, fold your big paper in half so you're only working on half the piece of paper. If you're at home and you have the time, go ahead and color behind it, and then you can start putting the paper on top of it. When you are done, feel free to do like I have and add the, uh, the lines with a dark green crayon. Here are some of my tips. If you want to create a piece of the, the little bit of water like we did when we drew it and we created it next to a river with a little bit of paper, a white paper, color it with a blue crayon and use that up for your water. Try and make it the different kind of blue than the sky. Otherwise it'll look like you have sky all the way down. For the willow tree, I used a half a sheet of paper, a white paper, and I colored it with a light green crayon and I tore it up to make the willow tree. And then I used a dark green crayon to make the lines once I was done. So you can see that this green of the tree is a little bit lighter than the green of my grass because the grass is construction paper and this one is the paper that I colored. It's the same thing for the difference here like I was talking about. So the uh, the water I made out of uh, color I made out of crayon colored paper and the sky was regular colored paper and then like I said I took a dark green crayon and I made it so I'm going to show you the sped up video of what I did and then you guys will have your chance to practice
please remember that you don't need to start the willow until you've finished the uh, redwood. So if you need to finish the redwood, go ahead, finish the redwood first. Then you'll have time to move on to the willow tree. All right, guys, thanks.